an advanced question from the data link layer. They have given a sliding window flow control mechanism that is operating between a sender and a receiver over a full duplex error free link. And for this link, we have been given the following characteristics. We have to assume that the time taken for processing the data frame by the receiver is negligible. So the propagation delay which we have that is taken as negligible. The time taken for processing the acknowledgement frame by the sender is negligible, which means for processing the acknowledgement sent by the receiver, the sender will not need any propagation delay. And that acknowledgement delay has also to be assumed as zero. And the sender has an infinite number of frames available for transmission. That has to be assumed. Along with that, now the exact data has been given the size of data frame which we call as L is 2000 bits. The size of the acknowledgement frame is 10 bits. So here we are dealing with both the data frame as well as the acknowledgement frame. So this was LD for the data frame and LA for the acknowledgement frame. The size given is 10 bits. And we have to assume the link data rate, which is nothing but the bandwidth in each direction is 1 Mbps. So bandwidth is given as 1 megabit ps here all of them are dealing with bits and not bytes finally the one-way propagation delay of the link is given as 100 milliseconds so that is nothing but the tp which we refer to as the propagation delay that is given as 100 milliseconds so now using all this data what we want to calculate is the minimum value of the sender window size in terms of the number of frames to achieve a link utilization what is link utilization the efficiency the efficiency to be achieved is 50 percent so what is the number of frames now this is a sliding window protocol so the size of window will not be one it will be greater than that so we'll assume that to be n and we have to calculate the value of n given all these parameters so now let us assume what is the formula which is used for calculating the efficiency it is given as useful time upon total time so in this case what will be the useful time there are n frames and for each frame the time required for transmitting that frame which we call the transmission delay tt but this tt will only be calculated for the frame and not for the acknowledgement because sending an acknowledgement is not useful that is the wasted time itself that is the useless time so that will be calculated here at the in the useless time thing so at the bottom we will have tt for the frame then we will have tt the transmission delay for the acknowledgement and along with that we have twice the propagation delay we, they have only given the one way propagation delay but between the sender and the receiver the propagation delay has to be considered two times this one for the data frame and this one for the acknowledgement so that tp gets considered twice so this is the formula we'll be using let us substitute all the values given now efficiency to be achieved is 50% so that will be 0.5 equal to n which we have to calculate In this side let us find out the tt and the tp for everything the tp propagation delay it is already given as 100 milliseconds so that is there we have tt for the frame how is tt given as the size of data to be sent upon the bandwidth or l by b the data frame size we already know is 2000 bytes. The bandwidth given is 1 Mbps. We'll write that as 10 power 6 bits per second. There's no need to convert bits into bytes. So this we get in seconds. And we can cancel out 3 of these. So this will become 3 and that becomes 2 milliseconds. Similarly, we calculate the transmission delay for the acknowledgement packet as well. For that, the size given is simply 10 bytes and the bandwidth will be same for that, which is again 10 to the power 6 bits per second. So this we get in seconds so that we will be converting back into the milliseconds. So this will become originally it is. 10 by 10 to the power 6 we can cancel out this one it will become 5 and then we will remove 3 of it to convert it into milliseconds so that will be 1 by 10 square milliseconds 
so that becomes 0.01 milliseconds so now we have got all of that and we will simply substitute them over here so let us see what do we get the tt for the frame we have got as 2 milliseconds divided by the tt for the frame which is 2 milliseconds plus the transmission delay for the acknowledgement packet that we got as 0.01 milliseconds plus two times the transmission the propagation delay which is 100 milliseconds so this becomes 100 yeah. so now from this we have to calculate the value of n so let us do that here erasing this out now we will write this entire equation with respect to n so we'll have n on one side and we'll shift everything else on the other side so we will get n equal to 0 0.5 times of 2 plus 0 0.01 plus 2 into 100 is 200 and this whole thing will be divided by 2 so let us see what do we get this is 0 0.5 that we can write as 5 by 10 so 5 by 10 with this 2 that becomes 20 and here we have 202 0.01 so let us calculate what do we get this we can simply cancel out four times so we get 202.01 by 4 which becomes 4 fives 20 then 50 so we get 50 point something 50.50 but we have to take rounded off to the nearest integer so we will be taking the seal of this because if we are requiring half a window then we will take whole of that window instead of removing that out so sealing will be required instead of the floor so 50 point something is there and when we take seal of that then that would become 51 so that will be our answer when the window size is 51 then we can achieve 50 percent efficiency given all the following constraints so answer for this question has to be 51.